A few months ago, my friends uh, Akeem Nowak and Rosemary Rivenall asked me to be part of an anthology book. Uh, that's a book where they take several authors and you each contribute a piece of the of the book. So this anthology is called The Difference, Essays on Loss, Courage, and Personal Transformation. And the eight other people uh, contributing just kind of blew my mind. But they asked me if I would put in my life story and the piece of my life story where the transformation happened and how that can apply to other people. And if you've been listening to my podcast, you've heard about my story about being homeless and a drug addict and a drug alcoholic and then you know years later being depressed and all the stuff that I went through uh, and how I turned that into this new life, this new career. By the way, if you hear something in my voice, I got sick on vacation and uh, can barely can barely breathe. Uh, whatever this is, it's not COVID. I tested several times, and it's not COVID, but it uh, is COVID-like and it's lingering. So sorry about the frog in my throat. Um, but this book, this difference, is really uh, I'm so glad to be part of it because the 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 stories on courage and personal transformation really helped me. I got way more out of this book by reading the other essays than uh, contributing my own. I'll put a link in the show notes where you can get the book. But when I reread my story, I went through it with a little different eye because I've been re recording with a lot of the leaders that I worked with specifically at the time of that transformation. If you're a member, you know, back in 2008, 2009, I was depressed. I was suicidal. I was sick. And that's the whole point in my story where I say I wanted to make a million dollars and run the Marine Corps Marathon. And I did those things. What happened in order to, to, run, to, to make the million dollars was I got a new job. My friend Greg Collins offered me a new job. And he also introduced me to an uh, SE and a, a, a sales engineer. And if you know anything about tech sales, if you have a great engineer, you can be really successful. And Steve Knoll, who I had worked with in another company years ago, became my engineer. So, so I went from being depressed and I couldn't sell and I was just in bad shape to a good friend hiring me and giving me a good friend and brilliant uh, uh partner in crime to go do this business. And the management and the leadership of this build business uh, from the CEO, Frank Slootman to Dave Snyder, who was the CEO of uh, Worldwide Sales, uh, uh, the pres uh, vice president of Worldwide Sales uh, to Kevin Haverty and John Sapone, a bunch of those people who you've heard on this podcast. That leadership team transformed my life. I came into that company uh, limping. I came into that company with my ego bruised, with my health in the toilet, uh, with not believing in myself and in really bad shape. And I want to talk about what, you know, I, I don't talk about the specific people in the book, but I talk about the transformation for me and the difference of having leadership that believe in you, leadership that supports you, leadership that trusts you. Uh, when I was hired, I remember Greg saying, Mark Silverman's one of the best salesmen in the world. And I didn't feel like one of the best salesmen in the world. I didn't feel like I was even on par with anybody. I felt lower than low. But that confidence in me, that belief in who I was, uh, and then coupled with me working my ass off, me having a partner in crime in Steve Knoll, who was amazing, right, uh, really helped me transform both how I saw myself the work that I did, and then the results that we had. And we crushed it that year. We had I, That was one of my biggest years ever. So it took me about a year and a half to make that million dollars, but I made that million dollars um, and, and transformed my career again. And I've had the opportunity on this show, if you've been listening, to thank a bunch of the leaders who helped me. So if you're a leader, know that you make an impact, like a huge impact. You don't know what people are going through. People didn't know what I was going through at the time. I didn't share what was happening to me. I showed up, I suited up, and I did my best. But they didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. Uh, but having, having being part of that team was transformational. Now, let's look at the flip side. Years before that, I had a mentor uh, at another company that I worked with that, for that I thought I was going to work for the rest of my life. I really thought I was going to be a lifer in this company. And my regional director turned on me, turned on me viciously. 
uh, got personal, accused me of being dishonest, accused me of all kinds of things. And I remember this, it was, it was actually Christmas Eve day. Uh, we were in Florida with our family, with my ex-wife, uh, and, um, and my ex-wife saw me on the phone with my boss and she saw my face change. She saw, she saw me turn white as a ghost. Uh, and she said that that was, uh, that was the change that was, so that was before the depression and, and the divorce and all that other stuff. She said, that was the turning point. She saw the life drain out of me when this, uh, this, um, leader took out all that person's personal stuff on me. Uh, there was jealousy. They didn't like the fact that I had uh, relationships with the senior leadership of the company since I had been there way longer. Uh, and it was vicious. And I didn't recover. Now, I'm not blaming this on that person. Like, like, like my downfall was not that person's fault. Uh, I take full responsibility for my success and for my failures. But the influence that you have on another person when someone, when someone's your mentee, when they actually care about you and you turn on them, it just can change their world. So on the, on both sides of the, of the equation uh, as leaders, and, and this, this is true. The more you rise in the organization, the bigger your job, the, the more people you have under you, the more weight your words carry. I talk to a lot of CEOs that have no idea that if they walk into a meeting, have an offhanded comment, that reverberates through the entire company. So what you say, how you show up, how you treat people, how you see people, even when they're doing something wrong, even when they're not performing, has such drastic impact. So the mantle of leader is both a privilege, it's a responsibility, and it's such an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life. So when you next time you're lamenting the fact that you have people problems, understand that you have people opportunities. You really can make a difference in someone's life. Thanks for listening. I love you a ton. Have a great rest of the day. And if you want the difference, check out the show notes for the link.